Hey, this is Shannon from SIS for Teachers. Today we're going to show you how to play a game called Fraction Uncover Version 2. If you haven't yet tried playing Uncover Version 1 or Cover on our website, you can go to sisforteachers.org and check out the video. We have already pulled out our fraction tiles for our game. We're going to have our one hole and my partner and I are going to place two halves on top of our hole. The object of this game is to uncover to get back to the hole first. We have certain fractions that we're using in this game, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 twelfth, and obviously our half. Our die corresponds to that. In this game, you have a few different options as you roll the die to uncover. First of all, if I have 1 fourth and I want to pull off 1 fourth, I can't do that. But I might want to trade out a piece. So I might decide to trade a piece out with one, a piece that's equivalent to 1 half, which would be 1 fourth and 2 eighths. In this case, if I chose to trade out a piece, I do not get to take my 1 fourth off. I could, option 2 would be just to pass and wait to see. Um, my partner, as she goes, um, is going to do the same thing. In this game, the only difference is if I rolled a fourth, let's say, and I had two ace on my board, I know that two ace is equal to a fourth. So in this case, you can take off equivalent pieces that are total to what is on your die. So it kind of adds another layer of complexity. I'm going to go ahead and go first. I rolled one eighth. I am going to choose to not pass, but I'm going to fill and exchange my one half with an equivalent piece, which is one fourth and two eighths. My partner's going to roll. She has one twelfth. There's lots of options for what she might decide. She might decide to exchange it similar to mine. She also might bring in twelfths to kind of help her. Um, she also could do a combination of twelfths. Um, and another fraction if she wanted to, to get to the total. So, so far she has her three twelfths and then one fourth. Three twelfths and one fourth equal her one half. So they're equivalent pieces instead of the same pieces like we played in version one. She can't pull anything off. It's now my turn. I'm lucky and get to pull off a half, which is exciting. My partner gets to pull off an eighth. She could also pull off something equivalent. So some students might not know, can they pull off something that's equivalent? Well, obviously two twelfths doesn't equal an eighth. So she could either pass or she could exchange one of her pieces for an equivalent fraction or combination. Okay, she's gonna decide to pass. I have one eighth, so I'm gonna kinda continue. My partner's able to pull off her first one of one twelfth. I'm going to roll. Hmm. I don't know if I should change it off and hope for the one fourth. The idea here is that kids are kind of using, you know, their thinking. Is it likely that I'm going to roll a fourth? Perhaps. But if I do roll a fourth, I can take off my three twelve. So you want kids to kind of think outside the box with this game. She has one eighth. Again, she can't pull off, but she could exchange her half for a combination of eighths and fours, or some students might just wait and wait and see if they end up getting that one, um, that one half that they've been waiting for. So her equivalent to a half is one fourth and two eighths. It's now my turn. So now the question is, do I have the pieces that are equivalent to half? I know looking at it that I don't, but students might want to put the piece on top. In this case, I cannot pull off half. I could exchange pieces, but I kind of like the pieces that I have. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and lose my turn. My partner now has half. She has an equivalent to half, and she can look to see what that equivalent is. Again, some students, as they're looking to see where things come up short, they might need to think about what they're going to pull off that's equivalent to half. One fourth and two eighths equal a half, so she's now cleared her board more than it was before. I'm going to poke along, kind of grabbing off my one twelfth. My partner has one fourth. Right now, she looks like she could get hers off, but now we're a little bit tied. One fourth. So again, getting kids to realize that three twelfths is equivalent to one fourth. So in this case, she's going to lose her turn. I have the same roll. 
one eighth. So kind of looking again, some kids might question again, is that eighth? No, nope, that's not the big enough. So as they're starting to look at that, they can see. I have one twelfth. My partner has one twelfth. I roll, get one fourth. My partner ends up winning with the one twelve. So she has completely uncovered her one whole from the original two halves that we had. If this is too hard for students, make sure you go back to uncover version one. And it's really great just to play the cover game. We also are going to show this game in a different way where we don't have stamped exact amounts on here where we can show them <coughs> with using other area model tools. We hope that you check out our website at sis4teachers.org. Thanks so much for hanging out with us.